You know the vibes, the new movement, Drewski in the building, BX is in here, Face, M-O-B, Face Yo, Marv is pulled up. Right. First of all, shout out to Drewski, you already know, man. Listen, in the building, you, know that? you got a lot going on. We got some things to talk about, some new music out. Clearly, the new video just dropped. Shout out to Bando. Yeah, We're going to talk about that. You play me some joints. Before we talk about these, you play me some joints that's not out yet where you was tapping into like the emotional side uh-huh. of both yourself and people can relate to it, right? And the one thing you said that stood out, you said, yo, I'm just trying to separate myself from everything else that people are making, everything else that's going on. And I can only speak on my real experiences, right? So can we talk about that? Like, why is that the approach when right now everyone's drilling, right? you like, cool, I could do that too, but this is who I am. Mm-hmm. What what made you tap into that side of the music? I mean, like, just, just, go, just going through so much. It's like, mm-hmm. I can't go in the studio and, and, and put some friction in a rap that I'm not actually, because I'm not out there doing that. Mm. If I'm out there shooting and drilling, I'll be in jail or dead. Right. Or doing it and talking about it. Yeah. Like, like, what's the point of that? Mm. I'd rather put my soul and my, and my, what I'm really going through, my pain and my struggles with my life right. in a song to the people, because I know it's people out there that can relate. I just need to be heard. Mm. That's it. In the music, in uh, the record City of Pain, you're really talking about some experiences you went through. Even like, I know you said, turn the cuffs to the rollie and if. I don't know how open you are speaking about those experiences, but do you feel like sitting down all the couple times you had to sit down, go to jail, kind of slowed down your music career? Yeah, it did. It, it definitely did. I couldn't get ahead. It's like kept getting the setback, <laughs> got the setback. But it taught me that patience is a virtue. Mm. And all this is happening for a reason right now. Right. And timing. Yeah, perfect timing. That's why my album is called Perfect, perfect Timing. timing. Because at least you went through these experiences, right? But you're putting it in the music. There's a lot of people that go through shit that one, don't put it in the music, or people that don't go through nothing and have nothing to rap about, so they just start capping on everything, <laughs> right? But the fact, I, I appreciate, like, yo, you could go through these experiences, probably some tough things we could talk about, but still come out and be like, yo, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to rap about it. I ain't, I ain't scared to talk about what I went through. or Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because... People hide from those situations. Like no one want to talk about them being locked up or even in, even in bad even in bad experiences I had. I talk about that in my music. So it's not just it's not just it's a good side and a bad side. Like, right. You, know, you just gotta listen. A lot of stuff go over people's head. I just feel like everything goes over everybody's head. You know, mm-hmm. I be I come home get go right back. So it's like all right, they don't they ain't taking me serious. Right. You know what I'm saying. So I just feel like I gotta establish myself. First, all over again, mm-hmm. for people to take me serious, to realize, like, I, right, you got to look out for this guy. Like, he's serious. Do you feel like that type of energy, though? Do you feel like a new new face? There's I a do. new face, new energy? Yeah, I do, because, like, um, like I feel like the light is on us right now. Mm-hmm. So, and with all this controversy going on, my music, it ain't perfect. That. <laughs> right. going on right now. How do you feel about that whole controversy? I said one thing, right? Mm-hmm. What I said about dissing in the music turned into then two days later, like the mayor saying, yo, let's ban drill music. What is your take on what I said? Where I said, yo, I'm not supporting the dissing, right? I'm not going to sit up here with face today. Somebody get on a record dissing you, talking real reckless, and I'm on the radio playing it. I feel like that ain't cool. My morals say I ain't with that. Because one, that's not who I am. I'm not trying to ignite anything. Two, I was just with Face, and I'm playing his record where he's dissing you. I'm cool with both of y'all. I feel like it's, it's not my job. That was my stance. I don't know. Do you, how do you feel about that? I mean, like, I'm Because you, you're involved in it. You you see what's going on. I'm glad you, you that them. up. You know, because, like, I agree with you. Mm-hmm. I agree with you. Like, with the mentioning dads and all that, that's kind of, like, that's harsh. It's just like. Right. It's, just, it's not even that. It's like. It's the youth that's below them that's watching it, and that's mm-hmm. like exactly you understand. And that's and that's what's important, like the youth, the the, the one that's coming up behind them, right? Because that's all they know. They think that's cool. 11, 12 years old, they think that's cool. Because they see the streaming, they see the numbers, they hear Drewski playing it on the radio, and they're like, "Oh, I got to do that too to to get my numbers up." So it kind of just starts trickling down because they think that's the way to go. That's when not the way to go. It's not because you see where a lot of the artists are ending up. And my whole thing was to protect the artists. Like, yo, 
If y'all saying this in the music, you're going to be targeted in the street because now your ops is looking for you. Yeah. If they don't catch you, you're still targeted with law enforcement because you self-snitching on yourself. So now they're looking for you. You know what I'm saying? And, and free all the guys. When I say guys, I'm talking about just the artists. We're not talking about <laughs> the violence in the community that's been going on for a long time. I'm talking about the artists. We see people close to you. Free D thing. A, a young man that has the potential. On fire. Makes that type of music, but can't do nothing because he's sitting down right now. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is that your artists just smarten up, which clearly I think you understand. You're a father. Like yeah, you, you, you're absolutely. a father now. You say it in the music. Like absolutely. you know what's going on. Absolutely. But then you, two days later, the man's outside talking about like that's band drill music. What is your take on that? My take on um the band and the drill music. I mean, like at the end of the day, it's like that's a way out for for the kids. But right. As far as like like my opinion, this is like just like talking on the dads and stuff. Like that's like you know that what I'm it. saying. Like if it's it, it, it's not really beef because. Y'all advertising it in, in songs and saying mm -hmm. y'all do this and doing that. And it's not really that. But how the the government, everybody was looking at it, it's like the shit that they say in the songs, shit is really happening. Really happening. So it's like now is it getting attention? <laughs> right. That, that was my <laughs> point. It's like, yo, y'all making it hot for yourself. You making it hot for yourself because if it was if you were just saying it, nothing was happening, cool. You couldn't say, yo, it's like a movie. Like But I wanna say band. No, of it. course not. I don't think that makes sense. But I think just the art is learning, like, yo, certain content we just can't put out there because it's happening in real life, and now we target it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and it, you in the Bronx, but right now, people would say the Bronx got got the drill scene. Yeah. There's a lot of young artists. A lot of these artists are screaming RPT on the records. <laughs> Can you break down for the people what RPT is, what it means? Oh, man. What, you know what I'm saying? RPT. River Park Towers. Mm, start there. River Park Towers. It's the history behind it. That's the birthplace of hip hop. That's where it all started. Seriously, hip hop. If y'all ain't know, that's the birthplace. Right. River Park Towers, Cedric Avenue. Boom. It's like, it took like, it's like everybody was just bond to that. I don't, it's like everybody just ignored what was going on. Like, we on the other side of the west side. Like, but it's, right. you know, but I feel like RPT. <laughs> <laughs> Four seven four seven full building seven letters respect RPT is in respect. Mm. Four seven four seven four buildings ten twenty thirty forty. Break it down, face seven letters R E S P E T respect RPT is in there. When, when did it start though? When when did it people start shouting RPT? Like who? That shit was forever. That was before. That's who gets credit for putting RPT like on the map? I ain't gonna lie. Who we'll gave my son D-Day? I would keep it a hundred. Shout out to D-Day. I would keep it a hundred. You got to keep it a hundred. Only because you're saying he was getting the viewers. like, But RPT was a thing before D-Day. Yeah, of course. Right. We've been, we been doing music. Mm -hmm. We've been doing music. We've been doing drill. Drill, we just didn't have a name for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, they came up with a name. Chicago came up with that shit, and it's just like, and it, and it just went crazy. But right. Been doing drill. Like, what they was doing now, this thing, and doing it, then. So you could go to YouTube, 07, type <laughs> right. for real. Like we've been doing that. But it's just, that's it's hot now. They got a name for it, and they running with it. And I just feel like like the people, like the kids that's all getting on, the artists that's all getting on, they're not using the money to do the right things with it. You know what I'm saying? They're just using it. Because I, if, if I get in a position, like, I'm going to make sure me and mine, like nobody around me is, is going to be, going to ever have to do something negative to get a dollar or, or you know what I'm saying? We're going to be right. in a whole different situation where we don't even know nobody. Like, we knew the, you know what I'm saying? That's what I want. That's the only thing I want. I just want to take care of my family because we like, yo, I want to cry, bro. Seriously. You want to cry because out of, out of excitement or just it's, like, it's like, they like, do, like, just they're doing stupid shit? Like, well, yeah, I'm like, what, what, what what's the like, tears for? Because you see people doing stupid shit with opportunity or? Nah, it's, it's, it's just minds, like. Right. Minds, like. Bro, we've been through so much. Mm -hmm. It's like, so we get right there, and it's like, it's not like, how, how people are looking at it, it's like, like the, the young ones out there don't have guidance. They do have guidance. Right. They do have guidance. It's that they still going to do what they want regardless. You can't babysit them 24 hours. Of course. They want to, you know, they, they they teenagers. They have hormones, so they gone. They could tell us anything. <laughs> right. And I'm sure how, how everybody looking at it, yo, guidance. Oh, that's all it is in RBT, guidance. 
But the young mm. ones that's coming, it's guarded. It's, it, we, we never putting no pistols in their hands. Going never. Right. That's never. We don't. That's not. We don't. That's not how y'all move. We not. That's not who we on. So when they see when they see a young boy doing some wild stuff, that put ain't him in check. Right. He put he get put in check. Mm. ASAP. Immediately. Immediately. Do you feel? Going because you've been through those experiences, you shut down before you've been to prison. You've been, do you feel like it's somewhat of your responsibility to start checking them, or are you at the point where like, yo, I can't tell y'all what to do no more because y'all knuckleheads. Nah, I can't give up on them. You ain't giving up yet. I can't because yo, I never had guidance. Like, That's what I was saying? getting to. I never had guidance. Mm. I never had. I never had somebody help me pay for my like when I was hold that you age, down at right that age when I at that age I was playing basketball, but. We are gonna talk about that because you said you was nice in ball. Oh yeah, that's so we'll talk about saying. that. But you, you not having guidance, you think is kind of what led you to making stupid decisions too. Yeah, I did. Like mm. me and my friends were knuckleheads <laughs> <laughs> for real. And like you know, but were you putting your knucklehead shit on social media? Were you nah, doing stupid no. we shit? We never but... did that. Man. Right, that's new. <laughs> we never did that. We don't celebrate what it's for me. It is whatever. We keep that shit in the street. Like, right, you know right. Saying? That's how it's supposed to be. And like, and, and, and the young kids coming up, they see that shit. Talk about going on drill and putting that shit in the music. Mm. You're telling on yourself. Self snitching. Let me break it down to y'all. Like, the shit y'all doing out here, man, this shit is federal. You heard? Like, seven years, you pull out a gun, man. That's seven years. That's brandishing. You heard? You shoot that gun, that's 15. You hit that man, right. that's 25. You don't even got to kill him. I'm not ready for that, man. For real. And that's facts. You speaking facts. Facts. <laughs> like this ain't just made up numbers. This is what's Real happening. Shit. Real shit. Busted by the fans. You can read that book. It'll break it down to you. Right. Everything. Guideline. Three hundred months is thirty years. I bet a lot of niggas don't know that. Mm. <laughs> they they think in months, not realizing. Three hundred months. That's thirty right. years. Like, should really like. Yeah, I just think the young boys gotta understand. Like yo, it ain't cool. Well, you know, it ain't cool. Yeah, you might be getting views because people are laughing at it, but it ain't cool. When when you really follow the code and you talk to real gangsters, they don't condone that yeah, type of behavior. Do you see change now? Do you see, like, you know... I mean, yeah, I see I see a lot of different artists trying to uh, switch it up. Clean it up. Yeah, clean it up. I mean, that's good. I mean, it, it all started with you. You had to right. be a leader, so Scott just had to start somewhere. Right. Somewhere had, somebody had to step up. Say something. Yeah, yeah. I just felt like it was getting like I'm seeing young boys that I fuck with either getting knocked or knocked off or going to jail. And it's like, yo, we gotta help clean this shit up. Like, yeah, absolutely. Somewhat. Like somebody gotta say something. The whole ban and drill, that's taking it way too far. I just think they don't understand. I think we got a lot of people in the culture that don't even understand. Like, you know, you could play a record and then the record. Someone can say, I can't wait till I catch the little D thing, right? I don't think the people even understand when they're playing it mm -hmm. that it's a diss in there. They, they might not even know that D thing is an actual person. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's hard to blame somebody like, yo, you as a grown man shouldn't even be playing this because it's inciting the violence, yeah. right? But they don't even realize. They're just playing it because it's hot. They're not even understanding that D thing could be a person. It's the energy that's born in you first, right? man. Like, when you diss face, it's not just dissing him. He got family. He got friends. He got people that love him. So all that comes with it. And I think just kind of shaving some of that off in the music. Like when I said I'm not playing it. I don't care what other people do. I just know what really goes on. I, I know people. it's real people. Yeah. They're talking about each other. Seriously. That shit ain't cool. We don't condone it. We don't want the law enforcement targeting the art. Uh, um, artists and we don't want the artists targeting each other. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And I think hopefully they understand it. We they know they young. Drill music without dissing. Of course, exactly. if you nice, if you are artist, you could do it without dissing. Be creative, and man. you can still talk your shit. Mm -hmm. If you step in, you could talk your shit, but you don't have to mention nobody's name in it. And self you know who's good at that? Who? Busy bass. I oh, shout out to busy. Yeah. Free him too. There's a there's a lot of yeah, free busy, he, but he be good at that. He don't. I, I listen to him. He don't name right. drop. He say shit. If you know what he talking about, then that's what it is. Right. You know what I'm saying. Are we gonna get more drill records from you? Nah, I'm done. It's over. Yeah. Sticking to the pain music. Yeah, it's like too much come behind that shit. Like it's like I like because I feel like like 
already in the st- in, in, in the streets or whatever, a, a lot of people already know me. So like, right, if right. I get <laughs> right, right. real shit and I'm really saying it, like, nah, he really did that shit. You feel me? So right. Like, you I, can't I, even I, fake it. Like it's just music. Saying, so I'm I'm just gonna stick to my pain and and, and what I do, what I know best. Mm. Project is out now. Yeah. Just dropped the project. How many yeah. records is on that? I got eight on there. Eight records. Eight records. Do you have a favorite one off the project that you personally jack yourself? Damn, I, I, me, mm-hmm. Bob Brothers. I think uh, me personally is like cause yeah, one like, that just for you, like yeah, you know, that's me. my shit right there. Yeah, Bob Brothers. We got D Dang on the D-Dang phone. On I don't the know phone. if you wanna yeah, that's Brody. pull it up. Yo, yo, what's up, Brody? All PT. Hey, I'm here with Drewski right now. You heard? He hear you. You on speaker? Yo, we was just we were just talking about you. We good, man. We just talking about you. How we love what you got going on, and hopefully, you know, when you come home. Yeah. And Face was playing records with. It ain't even drill records, and you walking on them. <laughs> what, what was the name of the record? <laughs> Made me cry. Made me cry. <laughs> oh, oh man, yeah. Everything else is good though. Yeah, man, we, we waiting for you to come home so we can turn up. Say that, I'll be home soon. You know that. Say less. Love you, Brody. Love you too, man. I'm, sh- I'm sure, like, for you, like, it hurts to have to talk to man. him. And the, and And he's on fire right now. Right? Like, he's in a position where a lot of artists would love to be in. But we got to talk to him over a phone because some dumb shit. I mean, he, uh, he, gonna, he, he learning. Right, learning. learning. That's what, you know. That's that's hope. Like that's the goal, is like learn from it. Cause I feel like you did. <laughs> I feel like you you say it in the music. Yeah, like yo, I, I damn sure did. The hallway, you heard? right? Even even still, like even still, like it's not easy. Just like getting up every day with music. Getting up every day with music. Be like damn, it's it's a struggle for artists though, because like. Some people might feel like, oh, dick riding this, dick riding that. You of have course. to network. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You have to network, but it's just about a certain way how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you just got to keep the shit 100 and real, always going to recognize real, no matter what. No matter what. And I think in this point of your life, your energy is just in a better place, too. Yeah. Right? With your family alone, being a father, having wifey around, like, certain things just keep you more focused. Absolutely. Right? Like, you, can, you can't. Run around like you used to oh, no more. Man. It ain't you ain't on that type of time. Oh, <laughs> so now it's all about the music. You know what I'm saying family, music, get to the bag, get to the money. That's it. Is there anything else that you you have going on that we should be looking forward to? We know shout out to D thing. He was just on the phone, but I know you are working with Nay. Yeah, shout yeah, to Nay oh, yeah, the dancer. Yeah, shout out to Nay. That's my little sister. That's blood. Like, she. I'll try to get her to come today. She said she wasn't feeling well. Okay, yeah, we don't want her spreading her germs in here. <laughs> nah, yeah. nay. But she she's doing her thing too. Yeah, yeah, she's shining. She's shining. She got to just keep dropping. Keep right. Dropping. Everybody, so everybody. Consistency. Stay consistent. Stay consistent. Stay consistent. That's the most That's the most important thing with this music, consistency. Mm-hmm. Consistency, showing your face and networking. And just and have a strong foundation behind you. Right. That's the key. Do you feel like that's what RPT is building, of that course, foundation? We are. Mm-hmm. Y'all, you know, shout out to K Hound. Yeah, shout out to K Hound. Shout out to the Brody. But you know, like nothing is perfect. You know what I mean? Right, right. Everybody gonna have bumps in the road. Of course. Look, look we got a bump in the road right now. Right. Look, this is like it's like when one fall, we all fall. You heard? That's a fact. And that and it's like now, what if like he was the only artist? Mm. Niggas would be fucked. Right. You now, niggas stepping up, holding that throne. That's that's how it's supposed to go. That's my bro. That's my little bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know he had my back, so I'm gonna have his back. So I'm supposed to go. Is there any other artists coming from your side that people should be paying attention to or looking, for, you know, looking out for? It's a lot of artists. T Dot. Mm. That's the next thing. Smoking. T Dot. Smoking. He's next. He's next. You gotta keep an eye. Um, Do you yeah. have records with him? Have you? Nah, I, I ain't. I ain't get a record with him. Yeah, that's coming soon. That's coming soon. Okay, we are gonna get a face T Dot record soon. A record with him and my little sister. They on me. <laughs> <laughs> they yo, face. Come on. <laughs> they, yo, I told him they might I'm throw not... you on one of them drill records. Nah, so just nah, get nah, ready. Nah, nah, nah. I told him I'm not doing drill, man. No drill. No drill. <laughs> no drill. Well, you listen. We we look forward to everything going on. The music is out now. People want to go check in and run it up. How, how's the best way to follow you? 
iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music. The music is everywhere on every platform. It's on every. It's on platforms. I don't even know the name of. Mm. Just go tap in, share, man. This shit is for real, man. This shit is. T- not tell them your IG, so they. IG F A C M O B. Tap in. Find me everywhere. I don't got no Facebook. I don't gotta make one though. Each one teach one. Each one teach one. The label Muddy Ant Paper Touches. We all going up. There it is. Face in the building. Shout out Drewski, man. RPT. Know that. Four seven, four seven. <laughs> Listen, uh, we look forward to just watching you grow, watching the whole yeah. gang grow, and focus on the right things. I think, Absolutely. like you said, sometimes you got to go through the hard times to get get up out of there, but the energy just feels a lot better. Yeah, so it's I, exciting. I feel, I feel a little like, I feel refreshed. I don't know. Right. New. Yeah. New you. I seen somebody post, um, I, I see somebody post. Um, it was a post. It was a um, um a platform. They post um. Up and coming, no new up and coming rising artists. Like I really felt some type of way about that. What you don't feel like you knew? No, I'm not. They might have, but you knew when they hear you or see you for the first time. So, to them, that's considered new. But, listen, I think you should run with it. Yeah, I mean, I am gonna run with it, but you know, I'm just I I'm gonna just work harder. That's it. Like, Cause I know. We've been tapped in for a minute. In 2017, you was sending me joints. Hey, yo, matter of fact. Like five five hey, yo, joints. Um, yeah, um, Spazzo. Shout out to Spazzo, too. Shout out to DJ Spazzo. He had, I, he had got my um my song, Never Fold, played on the, on, on the Sunday. Oh, okay. So Spazzo sent yeah, it to Spazzo. me. Yeah, Spazzo. Shout out to Spazzo. See, yeah, he did that. that. See, that's why I be telling the artists, yo, it's important to build relationships, too. Because even if we wasn't cool or if I ain't know you, it's coming from a reliable source. Like, I don't know your relationship with Spazzo, but just the fact that he feels like, yo, Drewski, you know what I'm saying, rock with this, that's important as far as building relationships. And I, yeah, I'm sure it, you learned that, too. It's, it's, it's crazy, because I was even, I spoke to Spazzo one time when I was in prison, too. Crazy. He, he just he just gave me, like, inspirational words. Right, right, right. Like, you know, get back here, out here, just focus up. Oh, and before we get out of here, though, we got to send a message to Dirk, because we need a Dirk feature, right? Dirk. Dirk. Tell him. Tell him. Remember, <laughs> Face Mob. I'm coming for that feature, you heard? There it is. <laughs> Face Mob in the building. DJ Drew's getting a new movement. Dirk, send that feature. Matter of fact, he's going to send you an open verse. You can just jump on it. All right? Gangster. We out. Peace. <laughs>